It's the misanthropic one, aka Seven Sovereign, back up in this bitch for another rant. This is yet another school related topic. I gotta give props to my nigga Ad One for them for sending me the video link to this shit. Cause I, I did hear about this incident last week, <clears throat> I think it was, but I've been so sidetracked with shit that I didn't cover it. But thank you for sending me the video link to this. Because it's a very powerful story and it pisses me off. So, props to you, my brother. This story takes place in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. A seven year old named Lamaya Kamen was in her first grade class, you know, innocently playing with her hair, her braids, shit that little girls do. The teacher kept looking at her or whatever teacher eventually calls her up to the front of the class. <clears throat> the teacher takes out a pair of scissors and cuts her front braid off and sends her back to the seat saying, now what you gonna tell your mama? Meanwhile, Lamaya's crying and her classmates are laughing at her. So, teacher throws out the braid or whatever. So, Lamaya goes home, tells her mom, her mom comes to school, her mother, Helen Cunningham, which I got to give you props, too, for keeping your composure, comes to school, <clears throat> confronts the teacher, and the teacher goes, oh, uh, I apologize. I was just frustrated that she was playing with her hair, just frustrated. Needless to say that this incident got up to the district attorney and the district District attorney chooses not to press charges against this teacher. And this teacher is still teaching right now. The school is deciding whether to take disciplinary action. <laughs> my God. You know, I said this before on one of my other rants. That the schools in the American society, in America are becoming Nazi concentration camps. That's just my opinion, and it's very evident. You know, Helen Cunningham, whew, like I said, I give you props for keeping your composure, because had it been my son or daughter, had that been one of my kids, whew, whew, boy, man, it would have been a totally different story. Totally different story. I would have had that chick's job. I would have had it that fucking day, I would not have left school grounds. I would have had her job. You know. <laughs> and it just it just frustrates me that shit like this goes on and the the faculty is taking their sweet ass time to do to 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 have disciplinary action filed against this bitch. They're taking their sweet time. Oh, we have to go through the... No. Fired. Automatically. You know? Let alone the district attorney. District attorney doesn't want to press charges. But I bet if it was the district attorney's fucking son or daughter, oh, it, it would be... All hell would break loose. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, what the fuck is the matter with you people? I mean, it, it, that's the problem with the American society. No one wants to cut off the root of the motherfucking problem. This teacher deserves to be fucking fired. Deserves to be fucking fired. And shame on you, uh, the parents of of the kids that go to school in, in, in Milwaukee, in that particular school. I forget what the name of the school is. But shame on you. Y'all should be up in arms about this shit. Because what if it's your fucking kid? What if it's your fucking kid? You know? 
You should be all rallying to get this fucking bitch fired. Like, yesterday. You know? <sighs> Disciplinary action. My fucking ass. That's the problem. Like I said, you could have eliminated this. You know what they do? You know what the school did? They moved Lamaya to a different class. No fucking assholes. Fire the fucking bitch. That's what you need to do. No one like that needs to be teaching fucking kids. We're supposed to trust you with our children. You know, and then I got to send my kid to school and worry about whether or not a fucking teacher's going to put scissors to their fucking head. Fuck you, you fucking bitch. I hope you're watching this. Fuck you. I hope you get fired and I hope you never work in another fucking uh, social institution again. Fuck you. Ugh. And fuck you, whatever the name of the fucking school is. I don't know. For taking your fucking sweet ass fucking time. Matter of fact, fuck every school in America that fucking agrees with this shit. But anyway, uh, what can I say? Uh, my prayers go out to you, Lamaya and Helen Cunningham. Lamaya Cammon and Helen Cunningham. Fuck it. It was an injustice. But this is America. Don't be fucking surprised. <sighs> Leave your love. No, as a matter of fact, you know what? I want to hear what y'all got to say about this shit. This is fucking ridiculous. So leave your comments. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Peace.